So in this video we're looking at adding capacitors in series in parallel. So uh, if we had a, a network of capacitors, let's say we have a supply voltage here, um, and we have a uh, couple of capacitors added in parallel. Okay, excuse the rough drawing once again. We've got C1 and C2. Now, um, I'm just going to give it to you and then we'll do some explanation why. But the total capacitance in this case um, is going to be um, C1 plus C2. Okay, and if you remember our capacitance formula, initially um, it, it's, it's proportional to the surface area um, and inversely proportional to the distance of separation. One really quick and easy way to remember that this is the way you add them and, and you'll notice it's back to front to resistors. Resistors in parallel would be 1 over um, the, that part of the formula. So a uh, quick and easy way to remember is that you're doubling, if they're the same size, you're doubling the surface area so you're increasing the capacitance um, because the amount of charge that can be stored is just increasing now because you're adding uh, a greater area uh, to that. Um, now, how you can actually derive that um, relatively quickly is by looking at um, the voltages, because the voltages are all the same. Um, let's just uh, have a look at this. So if we deal with Q over V, um, there'll be a Q1 stored on this capacitor and a Q2 stored on this capacitor, and there'll be a Q total, which is um, Q1 plus Q2, Q2, um, and uh, if we look at the voltage, it's uh, Q1, Q1 divided by Vs, uh, Q2 divided by Vs, S, not 2, um, should equal the total charge stored divided by Vs, and that's also going to give us the total capacitance. So um, you can see how these kind of match up, the left hand side, the right hand side. Um, that's just a handy little way of looking at it and remembering it as well. So you're going to increase the charge, so the sum of the two charges um, from, from here to here um, is going to be the total. And because they're the same voltage across all, I don't know if you remember from the derivation um, of the uh, resistance video, um, I'm pretty sure I did one of those, um, then... Uh, I'm just have a look. Yes, that's on the Physics Lounge website, so if you go to the electricity section and look at resistance part 3, deriving the resistance equations, you'll see there's a similar way of doing it, but you talk about the current being divided up, or the voltage being divided up. So anyway, that's resistors in uh, parallel, and they add like resistors in series, sorry, capacitors in parallel, and they add like resistors in series. Um, and we're basing it on uh, using these formulas to... to to um, give us something, but if we, uh, and I am being relatively quick about this because most people don't need to go into this sort of detail, we have another situation where we have our uh, capacitors in with the voltage supply in series, okay, so we've got uh, C1 and C2, this time um, the it's the voltage that's going to add, so V1 plus V2 is going to equal our supply voltage, and the charge is a little bit different in this case. Okay, um, what one way you can consider this is uh, just to, to remember. In fact, I've forgotten. I'm going to tell you what the formula is. This one is the, you'd think if it were resistors it would be just C1 plus C2, but this time it's uh, 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 equals 1 over the capacitance in total. Um, the uh, one way to remember that is that you're, you're it, it doesn't quite follow, but it's a good way to remember, is that you're increasing the distance of separation, so you're decreasing the capacitance overall. And remember, when you add resistors in this way, you're decreasing the overall resistance. Okay, so that'll help you to remember. Or you could just remember it's back to front to the resistors. Um, but how do we derive that? Um, if we go back up to our formula up here, we've got C equals Q over V. Um, where are we? So C... C equals Q over V, 
and I just got an email, hopefully that doesn't pop up on the video for you, but um, C equals Q over V. Um, in, this, in this case, the charge um, that's stored has to be the same. This is, this is interesting. The charge will have to be the same. Um, so whatever charge is stored on here, um, let's just call it Q, has to be the same as the charge stored on here. And let's explain why that is. Whatever the charge stored on here, um, it'll be a positive charge because the positive terminal of the battery goes to there. And then you'll have the negative charge which is equal to that, but opposite obviously. And then over here you'll have an equal positive charge because if that's a negative, that's drawn the negative and you've got the positive there. So then you've got the negative charge which is also equal. And they have to be equal on each capacitor because um, the total is... Um, so because the uh, surface area overlapping is the same in the electric field um, that's storing the energy is also going to kind of create a pressure to even out the charge to make sure it is the same. Okay, that's probably the easiest way to explain it quickly, but otherwise just remember that the charge is going to be the same. So um, how we can look at this is we can do, our, uh, this is going to be a little bit back to front, but if we, um, oh no, we can do it, we can do it that way. Our voltage uh, divided by our charge, because it's a common denominator, um, is going to be the same, because it's the total voltage divided by the charge. So that's how we, um, from this formula, that's how we get down to, to this formula, um, just by the charge being the same and the voltage splitting. Okay, very similar again to the resistance. Um, where in parallel, the voltage stays the same, but the current splits. And then when they're in series, the current stays the same, but the voltage splits. So now we're dealing with charge, a static current, or not a static current, static electricity, um, or a static state of the circuit compared to a dynamic. Okay, that was a little bit all over the place. The main thing you need to take out of this are those two formulas, that they're the reverse of the um, resistance formulas for calculating total capacitance.